Now, I hope you've had a chance to look at my review of Ubuntu 24.04. It's a very important release. It's a long-term support release, LTS release. Comes with Linux 6.8 kernel with a new schedule. You've got GNOME 46 and so much more. I cover all of that in that video. But another interesting thing about Ubuntu 24.04 is that it supports the Raspberry Pi out of the box. So in this video, I want to install it on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to install it on a Raspberry Pi 5 with an NVMe drive. And I've got videos here on this channel about how you add an NVMe drive to the Raspberry Pi 5. But at the other end of the scale, I'm also going to install the server version on the Raspberry Pi 02W. So that's just a one gigahertz quad core with only half a gig of memory. So we've got from the server version on a very small Raspberry Pi to a desktop version on a very powerful Raspberry Pi with eight gigs of RAM and an NVMe drive and Ubuntu 24.04 will work on all of it. Okay, if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Now, one reason I'm using the Raspberry Pi 5 with the NVMe drive is I did try this on a Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigabytes of RAM using just an SD card, and it was a bit slow. In fact, it wouldn't complete the initial onboarding process. Now, maybe there are some updates that need to come along. Maybe I need to try that again. I did try it with two different SD cards in case it was defective. It didn't work. So I would recommend at the moment, this may change in the future, as I say, if there are any updates, but at the moment, this, if you're gonna do the desktop version, you really do need to run it with an NVMe drive. But the server version, as you will see, runs perfectly with a small amount of RAM, a much lower powerful uh, processor, but uh, it still runs the server version, no problems whatsoever. Okay, so here we are in the Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm running this one on Windows. Of course, you can get it for Mac OS and for Linux. Okay, because I want this running on a Raspberry Pi 5 using an NVMe drive, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna install normal Raspberry Pi OS. So then on the Raspberry Pi 5, I'm actually gonna boot it up into Raspberry Pi OS and then run the same Raspberry Pi Imager program again and then get it to install Ubuntu directly onto the NVMe drive. So let's just go ahead and create this drive. We don't want any custom settings. Yes, we don't mind all the data's gone. So it's gonna go ahead and write that SD card now. Now, while I'm here, I'm also going to write a version of Ubuntu Server 24.04 and put that on a Raspberry Pi 2W. So if we go here now and we change this to a Pi 02W, and then we go again and look under the general other OS, Ubuntu. Now, as you can see here, it's just the server versions being listed because there's not enough RAM really to run the desktop version. However, it will run the server version, so we'll click on that. And as before, we pick our SD card. What's good is that when you click next here, it'll say, do you want to apply some custom settings? Now, because we're gonna probably do this headless, that would be a really good idea. So let's click edit settings. So we're gonna give it a name. Well, I think we'll call it um, uh, Pi 2W-2404. Let's call it U2404. Okay, gonna set a username and password that I know about there. We're gonna configure the wireless LAN. Okay, so we can click next, we can click save, and then we can say, do you like to apply those custom settings? Yes, I would. You're gonna raise everything, yes, of course. And again, we just wait down for that to be written. Okay, so here we are back on our temporary version of Raspberry Pi OS, booting from the SD card. And now what we do is go to accessories and then down to imager and choose our device. So this is of course a Raspberry Pi 5 and we're gonna to want to go down to other general purpose OS. We want Ubuntu, we want the desktop version. And now to choose the storage, well, actually we're gonna do that. We wanna put it on the uh, NVMe drive that I've already got there, like that, and click next. Are you sure you wanna delete it all? Yes, I am. And we'll wait for that to write. Okay, so that has finished being written to the NVMe drive. We are now going to shut this down, remove the SD card, and then reboot directly from the NVMe drive. Okay, so we need to take out the SD card and then reboot. Okay, so I've rebooted and now we see the Ubuntu splash screen running. Okay, and we have an onboarding screen where we can set the language and the keyboard. And we wanna to connect to a particular Wi-Fi network. We can set our time zone and we can set uh, up the user account information. So I'm gonna call this uh, Gary hyphen U2404 pi. 
five, why not? And set a password, of course. Okay, now we finished the onboarding. We have a proper login box. So let's just run a terminal and we can do install NeoFetch. So there we are, we've got Ubuntu 24.04 running on a Raspberry Pi. I also tried to configure RDP, the remote desktop protocol. That's part of GNOME 46. That worked absolutely perfectly. So now from a Windows machine or a Mac, I can connect to Ubuntu 24.04 headless, get up the desktop using RDP. Worked absolutely great. Okay, switching our attention to the Raspberry Pi 02W for a moment. I've put in the SD card in that and I've booted it up now. One big problem is you need to find out the IP address of the device. Now, uh, the easiest way to do that is to basically connect a keyboard to the Raspberry Pi 2W, log in first of all there, find out the IP address with IP address show. Now you can do it remotely by kind of pinging or using Nmap, trying to find out what new Raspberry Pi device you've got on your network, depending on your level of proficiency. I found out the address of my one, so what we're gonna do is we're going to log in now to that. So secure shell, Gary at 192.168.1.156 is actually the address. And I use the password that I set there when I uh, created the SD card. Okay, so there we go, we've logged in. So a quick HTOP. We can see here it's using about half of the memory there. Remember the Pi 2W only has half a gig of memory, which is why we're running the server version. And let's just quickly run NeoFetch, which I have installed to show us the nice thing. There we go, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS on ARC 64, 64-bit uh, ARM there. So there you go, it, it up and running on a uh, Raspberry Pi 02W. So there you go, Ubuntu 24.04, not just for Intel and AMD PCs, but also now for the Raspberry Pi. Love to hear your thoughts. Are you going to use Ubuntu 24.04 on your Raspberry Pi? Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Sims. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.